Hi, so this is actually the last little bit of our school being having been completed and yeah it sure does look pretty nice right behind this door is the hallway uh, that leads to the main break room and on the other side here is the secondary break room uh, which sort of looks like the outside square that's been built obviously now when we go down to the basement right here uh, despite besides the music classroom behind this door here there are banks filled with lockers and the lucky thing is at least they don't work with a key and I'll get a little key card which I put right here and that will open the lock and right there's the elevator I'm pretty pitiful for those who needed it when it wasn't built yet they it does have a key lock sometimes it does work and sometimes it doesn't work here there we go and right there are new banks of classrooms pretty much exactly what you would expect they have been redesigned that's how you might have seen in my previous video it's pretty weird hey there used to be a set of classrooms here but they haven't been completed yet or maybe they're sealed off permanently I would hope a form a little square for the biology, chemistry and physics experiments could be done and of course right there is the main entrance so that's the new building complete though it does look pretty this is outside of Richneck Elementary School in Newport News, Virginia, where a six-year-old student shot and wounded a Virginia teacher. So, on the 7th of January, 2023, Reality America, as a six-year-old boy shot his teacher in a Virginia elementary school. Now, why does a six-year-old boy want to do that in the first place is beyond me, for the most part. But I'm talking about one particular factor here. The teacher, or perhaps more broadly, the education system that really doesn't work and needs to be improved. So just to recap from some of my previous videos I've made, a coercive education system is one in which children are forced to learn whatever some kind of higher up says they need to learn by teachers and this is very, very, very unnatural for children. They'll probably not learn much from it. And they will uh, at least think about turning against it. Maybe not even that, just dream about it. Destroying their school, getting rid of their teacher if they really don't like it. Yeah, children really become... Uh, pretty crazy and do weird things on, that, on that, all the chronic stress that the education system provides them. They uh, really hate themselves or the system or the teacher and they insist on breaking out of what seems like a hopeless situation, potentially even hurting themselves or others. And I have a great, great pity for those children who are either considering it seriously or have done it like the six-year-old. They are primarily victims, victims of the decisions from previous centuries. But all hope is not lost. We still have a chance. What we really need to do in this time uh, is to let the children do what they want. I've talked about that so many times before, but our education system is definitely in need of a refresh. We need to let the children be themselves. 
Only then will they have respect for those teachers who really just become their helpers, people who help children advance forward in their learning process. Only then will they always see light at the end. Basically, <coughs> the gun doesn't really matter. It's just a way for a child to inflict violence on a teacher. If it weren't with a gun, it would maybe be another way. Maybe something even more brutal. So, although I do have uh, no stance on gun control, I do definitely have a stance on freedom of children. We absolutely must grant it, both to protect the lives and future and the interests of the students and the teachers which, by the way, by themselves are also really stressed out by our coercive system uh, because children don't always listen to them. Whilst when a child does what they want to do, they will do it with all their mind put into it. They'll never truly forget it. And they'll always pay attention to what they're doing, what someone else is saying uh, about what they're doing. And they'll truly grow instead of being kept small by coercion. Coercion creates a kind of ceiling that children just want to burst out of. When freedom creates a foundation for their, uh, their development and their interests, something they want to keep. I respect the teacher and I also respect the child and all children who are currently a victim of our quality of education system. See you next time. Bye. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you next time.